So, Yusuf, I think, you know, when we look at our research, you know, over half of global consumers are now on some sort of generative AI platform, whether it's Copilot or others. And so, you know, in this sort of age of discovery and, you know, 90% of them are using them for shopping, like how is Microsoft sort of meeting the moment? We're early in the cycle of how this will all, you know, shape out. I would say in this phase one, it's been really kind of the era of chatbot. And so it's like, ask a question, get an answer. And where it's going to go is an AI companion. And to get to that companion state, at least three things have to happen. One is it starts to have to have memory. So it's got to remember you, has to remember the conversations you had. Like if you've been working a particular problem, you want it to know that. And then it gets to know you. So it's that much better. Second thing is, if you give it permission, it, you want to let it see what you see. So when it sees the world or sees what it's on your computer, now you don't have to type it in and tell it. It instantly knows. So if you're working on a piece of homework and you pull up a, a report or a piece of research, you can right away say, hey, I've been trying to figure out what happened during the Dark Ages and the Renaissance. Let's go through this topic and you can talk to AI and it instantly has all of that background. The third thing is it takes action on your behalf. So it'll save you time. So if you said, oh, I've been researching for a trip, can you go book the tickets? It will actually go and do that. And so you, when you have an, a companion that knows you, that sees what you see, hears what you hear, can act on your behalf, that takes that empowerment to yet another level.